Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're going to review my battle belt. So it's that time of year where I like to do a once a year check-in on my gear to just kind of show some updates and changes that I've made to my current setup and maybe they will help you on your current setup. If you're anything like me, you're constantly uh, fine-tuning and making changes to your gear. But I think a once a year check-in just to kind of see what, what we're looking at and the changes that I've made throughout the year is helpful. Uh, some things come on, some things come off, some things are experimentation, some things stay the same, whatever. But I just think it's good to have a kind of a once a year health check-in. So currently I do carry a Glock 17 with a TLR1 for my pistol. Uh, it's in the safe right now, but that's where this goes. Uh, I have changed this to a SLS system and I use the OT defense button on the SLS system. In my opinion, the, the OT defense uh, add-on button here for the, the top makes this way, way more usable. It, it's a completely different holster. Highly, highly recommended if you run an SLS system to check out OT defense and get their little add-on button here. I think it's like 30 bucks, but again, it's a brand new holster after that. It's fantastic. Uh, I did spray paint coat this holster at some point. As you can see, it's I do use it. It's kind of wearing off. My buddies for my birthday got me the QLS system. So now I can rotate different pistols in and out of here. Um, I haven't really done too much of that. But one of the things I really like about the QLS fork system is that it ends up adding a little bit of a gap here between the holster and your body. And it offsets it just enough that it's actually a much more comfortable draw. So I would highly, highly recommend that. I'm still rocking a Warrior Poet Society belt, which is made by Blue Alpha Gear. So it's an inner Velcro belt with an outer Velcro belt that Velcros to it. Fantastic belt, I have nothing bad to say about the belt. I've been rocking it for over a year now and I really, really enjoy it. Cobra buckle on the belt. I have added a tourniquet up front here. Uh, this is a Blue Force Gear um, tourniquet now or something uh, attachment and I just zip tie that to the molly so that I have a tourniquet up front. I do carry two pistol mags. My theory is that the belt is what supports the pistol. Um, let's be honest, if I get down to my pistol and I need two extra mags for my pistol, I'm having a very, very bad day. I currently have two AR magazines on the belt. Now I will say I'm really considering going to one. There's been a lot of times where I just don't put a second one in here because the weight, that's kind of around that sweet spot for the tipping point of weight, and it just gets to be a little heavy and wear on you a little more than it's worth to have an extra mag down here. Uh, if anything, if I really needed, I usually carry four on my carrier, uh, one in the gun and then two here for a total of seven, right? If I really wanted to stick to that seven, uh, I will probably just find another spot on my carrier to put this one up there and not have it on the belt. Um, but uh, that may or may not say the same. We'll see. There are times when I wear this when I'm teaching a class or taking a class and we're not either not supposed to or I just don't want to wear plates or a carrier. And it is nice to have the option to carry two mags on your person and one mag in the gun. That'll get you pretty much through any drill set before there's a break uh, and then you can re-up your mags. So that's kind of the philosophy of use behind that. If I had to throw this belt on for reals tomorrow, I don't know if I'm taking that second mag. I'm probably just going to leave that off the belt. I have added a dump pouch here. This is a Maxpedition little roly-poly dump pouch. Uh, I use this not primarily to store spent mags and how guys will typically run a dump pouch, but I use this primarily as an admin pouch, uh, especially when I am teaching and I need to have a timer on me or a, I use a uh, clicky counter thing, if you know what that is, those things that count um, when I'm numbering off drills and stuff like that, and all that stuff goes into the dump pouch so that I can easily store admin items and, and get them when I need them. That's pri the primary use of my dump pouch and uh, it's worked well so far, but in general I try to keep that rolled up and, and out of the way because I just I don't like a dump pouch hanging off me. I got a set of gloves on here. Uh, my favorite gloves are these ones currently. These are the Mechanics half millimeter gloves. They're like a second skin. They, they are my favorite shooting glove to have so far. I keep those on the back here just on some cheap garbage plastic carabiner um, because all that carabiner does is retain the gloves until I put all the kit on and then I put the gloves on. Back here I have a Surefire and just a taco pistol pouch. I like the taco pistol pouches. I like the taco pouches in general because they're multi-use. 
and so you can kind of stuff different things in here and that's honestly the best pouch I've found for a flashlight. This is a Surefire, uh, I think it's a GX7 something, but it's the one that has the uh, ring here so you can do that plunging technique if you want uh, to dual hand it with your pistol. Uh, I think this is only like a 300 lumen, lumen light, it, like I said it's an older one. They make uh, 700 lumen or 600 lumen versions now, I believe. Um, but that just kind of goes back there, so I have a handheld light on me. That seems like a good idea. Where you talk about the pistol, uh, one thing I did add here is this T-Rex Arms thigh strap. This makes this whole setup much more comfortable. This is only a mid-ride holster. Uh, however, being able to strap that in is really much more comfortable. One of the things that you might notice that I do not have on here is I do not have an IFAC on my belt. Uh, my main IFAC rides on my plate carrier. I do keep a tourniquet on my belt because I like to have multiple tourniquets on me. Uh, however, I do not have an IFAC. Now, I may or may not change that. I used to run an IFAC in the small of my back. The problem with that became is that when I would sit down or ride in vehicles or do anything like that, uh, it just, as you know, it's not comfortable to have anything uh, in the small of your back when you're trying to do any of that. So that's what led the IFAC to coming off the belt and to just only being on my plate carrier. Uh, again, I may or may not swap something back out. I'm thinking about maybe a Blue Force uh, Micro Now pouch or Micro Trauma Now, whatever they call, uh, possibly to go right here. But again, I I'm trying to try to keep the small of the back clear. I haven't had good success with pouches there. If you think I'm stupid and I definitely need an IFAC on my belt, go ahead and leave an angry comment below. For the actual pouches, uh, these are the Kiwi pouches. So I have the Kiwi pistol pouches here and then the Kiwi uh, AR-15 pouches here. Big fan of the Kiwi pouches. The retention is just phenomenal. Uh, the thing I like about the pistol ones, of course, is that because I have this Q fork and I can swap my holster out, if I do that, I can swap pistol mags out no problem. That's not gonna be an issue. All of my kit is AR-centric because ARs are superior. So these pouches here are for AR mags only. That's it, that's my battle belt setup. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, uh, make your own battle belt, make your own video, and I'll take a look. Do brave deeds and endure.